Welcome to our lecture online and here's a second example of how to calculate what we call the expected value of a random variable. And here you'll see something interesting. Here let's toss the dice and notice that the probability distribution is, is um, very symmetric. We have the peak at the number 7, it drops off for small, small numbers, it drops off for bigger numbers in a likely fashion on both sides, in a like fashion I should say, not likely but like fashion. And if we were to calculate the mean of this, what will we get? Well, the mean value for x, the average value, would be equal to the sum of all the x's divided by the number that we have. So this would be 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12. And the whole thing divided by, well, how many numbers do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11 numbers. And so what would this be? This would be 5, 9, 14, 20, 27, 35, 44, 54, uh, 65, 60, uh, 67, 77. So this would be equal to 77 divided by 11, which is 7. So the average value when you toss dies is 7. All right. Now. What do we get as expected value? Let's see what we do here. So here we take the value of each toss and multiply it times its probability in each case. So in this case, this would be equal to the number 2, but we have to multiply that times the probability of getting a 2, which is 1 out of 36. That's called the weighted average. So the numbers that have a higher probability have more influence on the ultimate result than the numbers that have a smaller probability. So that's what we call the weighted average or the expected value. So this would be plus 3 times 2 out of 36 plus 4 times, uh, that would be 3 out of 36 plus 5 times 4 out of 36 plus 6 times 5 out of 36 and continue on here, that would be plus uh, 7 times 6 out of 36, plus 8 times 5 out of 36, plus 9 times 4 out of 36, plus 10 times 3 out of 36, plus 11 times 2 out of 36, plus 12 times 1 out of 36. Now notice, we could factor out 1 out of 36, so that simply becomes 1 out of 36 times 2 times 1 plus 3 times 2 plus 4 times 3 plus 5 times 4 plus 6 times 5 plus 7 times 6 plus 8 times 7 oh, 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 oh. no no it goes back down right so 8 times 5 uh, plus 9 times 4, plus 10 times 3, plus 11 times 2, and plus 12 times 1. So just put brackets around it like this, and the whole thing multiplied times 1 out of 36. So let's see what we get. Okay. So we have 2 plus 6 plus 12 plus 20 plus 30 plus 42 plus 40 plus 36 plus 30 plus 22 and plus 12 and take that divide by 36 and guess what yes indeed we get exactly 7 which is what I would expect so notice that the weighted average the expected value is exactly equal to the average value if the distribution is perfectly symmetric on both sides of the middle being the middle being the most likely occurrence like that. So when we have a perfect distribution, so sometimes we have it like this, sometimes we have a perfect what we call Gaussian distribution, but it's, if the distribution is perfect, the same on both sides, then you can see that the expected value will equal the average value. Because then it doesn't matter if you weight the average, because the nice distribution doesn't require you to do the weighted average, it'll give you the same value. But that's an unlikely scenario. In most cases, you will not get that perfectly neat distribution, and so we expect the expected value to actually be different from the average value. And so between this example and the previous example, hopefully that will give you a good understanding of what we mean by the expected value. And that's how we do that.